This tutorial will show you how to do a common task in QGIS uh, in which you have a polygon layer and a point layer and you want to store uh, the total count of the number of points that exist within those polygons in your polygon layer. So for this tutorial I'm going to use two layers, one which contains a list of settlements in Scotland uh, another, uh, which is uh, a list uh, of all of the um, local authorities or the councils in, in, in Great Britain. And uh, uh, then we're going to count the number of settlements uh, that are within each of those areas. So let's drag in uh, the local authority districts and our settlements. So we end up with something like this. I'm going to make this transparent or just white and the settlements I'm just going to make them a different color. Okay if we zoom in to just Scotland here so now imagine that I would like to store in addition to what you get currently if you click on one of the areas here for the highlands, uh, we want to have, in addition to the name, we want the number of these settlement points. We can manually add that, but let's do it uh, automatically with this, uh, with this method. Basically, all you have to do is go up to Vector, Analysis, Count Points in Polygons, tell it which is your polygon layer and which is your point layer, and optionally give uh, a name to the column. column. and it'll run this in the background here. The resulting new layer that's created by this uh, will then have added as a new column of information uh, the count of those uh, communities. All right, we can turn off the old local authority districts. I would recommend that you now save uh, this as a shapefile uh, because this information is loaded into uh, memory uh, and it's uh, always good to save uh, layers that are created by various functions within QGIS. Uh, I'm going to give this uh, a little bit of a better styling. And you'll see now, if I click on any of these councils now, you'll see that there has the old information but there's now a new column called count that tells you that there were 62 points inside of, of that area. Uh, if we click here, we can see that there were two and also the count is two. You could also see this uh, in the attribute table. If we open this up, uh, you'll see zero for all of uh, those in England and Wales and such, but the Scottish councils will have uh, the counts corresponding to the points. That's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, let's say at this point you wanted now to only show on this map uh, thing, things which have a count, that is to say only Scottish uh, councils. Well, there's lots of ways you could do that, but now that we've got this uh, count data stored in here, we could also just filter on that count layer and say that we only want it to show those features, that is to say, those councils which have more than zero. And that erases all of the areas outside of Scotland uh, for us. Let's say that we now wanted uh, to make this into a choropleth map. Uh, we could select this, and then instead of single symbol, we can do a graduated symbol and uh, we can tell it that we want to do this on the count column and by the way all of this layer styling information is also accessible if we go into the properties here i'll just do it there because it'll be nice and clear uh, graduated we want to do it on the count column we want to use color we'll use this simple red color here Let's do this with standard deviation this time. And we'll apply that. And you'll see that that creates a, a colored uh, 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 choropleth map. 
um, it seems to show that Aberdeenshire and uh, Fife uh, have the highest counts. If we go into the attribute table for here and sort by counts, we'll see indeed that Fife and Aberdeenshire are the highest uh, in terms of the numbers of, of counts. And um, that is all to it. If you wanted to now label this, not with the names of the councils, uh, but with the counts that each of them have, uh, you can also easily do that through the laboring feature here. Do single labels. If I choose count here and apply, you'll see that it will rebuild the layer and just add uh, the number of the uh, uh, points that were found in each polygon. Um, if you then wanted to make this a little clearer by indicating what it is that you're counting, you can use this uh, expression builder here and concatenate a string count colon space and use this concatenation thing here. That'll build a label that has the word count before the number in each case. Uh, to make it a little bit clear, I'm going to draw a buffer. I'll make the buffer a kind of a sickly yellow green. Um, and uh, if I now then press OK on this, it'll rebuild the map with these new labels. There you go. So now we've used uh, count with uh, uh, count points in Polygon, um, we've created a choropleth map out of it, and we've used uh, the label uh, function as well.